For cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 23 coins, make sure to check out my sponsor, A-O-E-A-H. Get your coins ASAP, boys, and use code MONTY for 3% off. What is going on, YouTube? And welcome back to another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video, guys. In this video, we're going to be going over the best budget beasts in Madden 23 Ultimate Team right now. Uh, before we do get started, man, if you guys are new, so hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment something down below, man. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let's hop into this video. So as you guys can see, there's some budget beasts in like pretty much on my team already we're gonna talk about them guys my budget beasts are from 1k to 50k those are my budget beasts we're not go we're gonna have some honorable mentions a little bit above uh, 50k so uh yeah let's get to this video we're gonna go over to mud.gg and we're gonna build our lineup so here you go you guys can see my screen let's dive into it so uh budget beast this year it's a little different than last year i feel like there's not many crazy budget beasts this year except for a few handful that we're going to talk about um some of them like i said are honorable mentions they're not budget beasts but they're very close to it so uh let's dive into it let's start off with quarterback all right here we go so for 48k right here daniel jones honestly guys this card is actually very, very good. I mean, he's got 80 speed, 85 throw power. He's got good accuracy, 85 short, 82 mid, 85 deep accuracy. Um, his throw on the run is an 80 as well. Really solid card in Daniel Jones right here. Matt Stafford also pretty solid, but his speed is very slow. And Joe Burrow, I would say up there too, he's also slow. That's personally why I would pick Daniel Jones over both of them. He's a pretty good QB right here. You, he is 48K though, a little expensive. You don't want to... You don't want to go too crazy? Okay, understandable. So, let's go take a look at some other QBs. And I have two in mind. Personally, I would go with this one right here. And that is Kyler Murray. He's got 83 speed, 83 throw power. So, evens out speed and the throw power. Pretty solid. His uh, his passing accuracy is okay. Good deep and short accuracy, though, with 80+. plus. Uh, he's also got that throw on the run at an A2. Pretty solid quarterback right there for Kyler Murray. Uh, Lamar Jackson sitting right behind him for sure. Personally, I would go with Kyler. Um, his stats are clearly better, as you can see right here, and including throw power, which is a big, big stat. So there's your QB. I would go with Kyler Murray or Daniel Jones for sure. So we'll stick with that right now. We'll go to halfback right here. Personally, halfback, tough position. Nobody really, you know, crazy speed. Nobody really with crazy speed. Dalvin Cook, pretty nice speed. 84 speed right there. Not bad at all. Tevin Coleman might take the cake here. Tevin Coleman or maybe even J.K. Oh, J.K. Dobbins. J.K. Dobbins is going to be the one taking the cake here, boys. I mean, he's got that 85 speed. And as you guys can see, no running back clearly gets it. Uh, Miles Sanders, guys, by the way, grind for that card. If you need a running back, this card is actually not too bad. Out of one 84 speed right there so yeah we're gonna go with jk dobbins at 47k with the best running back budget beast card so um yeah no definitely the best one i would say i mean the running backs are slacking this year remember i said not too many crazy budget beasts and uh there really is not there really is not too many crazy ones so there you have it right there let's go over to wide receiver here we're gonna look at the wide receivers guys the team builders are very, very useful. And by the way, guys, they're 48K, right? But you don't need to get them for 48K. If you go ahead and do the set, you can get these guys for so much cheaper. I mean, they're so, like, not, I don't want to say they're so easy to get, but they are a lot easier than you think. Scotty Miller, 84 overall with that 86 speed easily one of a but one of those budget beasts you can go and get this guy for a lot cheaper tyler lockett not too bad either 27k for an 84 speed uh his stats are pretty much there's his all oh wow all his stats are 80 plus so uh tyler lockett definitely a good card to go and get marquez valdez scantling another good card to go and get 86 speed here all his stats are okay pretty good i would say more on the good side than the bad his speed is very good though so right there sammy Watkins. i personally actually Mm, his stats are not bad everything's pretty good but speeds a little i feel like his speed's a little slow for a 50k car jalen waddle 83 overall with that 86 speed definitely a guy to go actually this is the one they gave you at the start so if you didn't take jalen waddle that's honestly awful 
But his actual card, Jalen Waddle, I'm pretty sure it's like an 81 or an 82. It'll pop up here somewhere. But Jalen Waddle, another card I would go and get. Uh, he's got 84 speed, I want to say, on his card. Not that 86 speed you just saw right there, which is kind of annoying. But those are the receivers I would go with, guys. Um, now let's talk about tight end. This is a crazy position. So here's my honorable mention, and that is Donald Parma. I mean, this dude is literally the biggest game changer in mud. I mean, easily. This dude is the best card in the game. Maybe Randy Moss makes him run for his money now. But yeah, Donald Parham easily, I would say. And uh, if you don't have enough for Donald Parham, you think he's a little too expensive, then I would probably just go with, you know, 50K Kyle Pitts. Uh, Donald Parham is currently going for 64K, so nothing too crazy on Parham. Then, like I said, Kyle Pitts. I mean, Kyle Pitts has definitely got to be behind him. I think Kyle Pitts is literally a little bit of a downgraded version of Parham. I mean, he's shorter and he's got all stats like one below Parham. So yeah, Parham definitely one of the best tight ends in the game. Uh, Darren Waller behind for some speed. Definitely behind uh, Pitts, Darren Waller for 37K. And I'm probably just going to stick with them three right there. Those three right there are very, very good. And it's time to get to the defensive side of the ball. So defensive side of the ball is a little bit trickier here. You know, like I said, not many crazy, crazy names here. But one I will go with, and he is a bunch of beasts because he is free. And that is this 86 overall Randy Moss. Definitely got to go ahead and grind for this card right there, boys. Strong safety here. We're going to talk about more corners in a second, boys. We're going to get back to the cornerbacks. Don't worry. It's not all I got for you but um one guy i want to talk about here harrison smith 83 speed 85 excel 80 tackling he's got that 83 zone and an 85 hit power i think it's a pretty solid strong safety uh justin reed might be a little bit better he definitely is i would go justin reed a little bit better than him so i would say we'll go with hmm, we're gonna go with justin reed first behind him harrison smith i don't really like any of these other safeties i feel like they're just not fast enough this don't got Kyle Duggar. Oh, here we go. Kyle Duggar. Name I have not seen yet. So Kyle Duggar. We'll go with Kyle Duggar. We'll go with Harrison Smith. And we'll go with Justin Reed for strong safety. Personally, me, I use Harrison Smith. I like his hit power. Forces some fumbles. I really like that card a lot. So here we'll go with left outside a linebacker here. Bud Dupree here. Left outside linebacker. He's got 84 speed, 86 excel. 87 power move guys this dude can play zone and he can also pass rush so bud dupree for left outside linebacker definite go-to there let's get back to the cornerback position um one big big name we're going to talk about at this cornerback position really quick i want you guys to see this car because he's an absolute beast but before we get to it anthony brown 85 speed 83 excel 84 man pretty solid card right there let's keep this thing going let's keep this thing going want to show you guys the one card 86 jace 86 speed 84 overall jason verrett 80 honestly guys the 84 team builders is carrying this video very very good cards very very good on the speed which was much needed um very very good card but here it is caleb farley guys caleb farley we're gonna go over his speed in a second um, he's got that 87 speed at 86 excel 81 man really solid card 86 jumping and don't forget he is 6'2 Caleb Farley is honestly absolutely amazing that is my corner so we'll go with those three we'll go with Caleb Farley we'll go with that um, Randy Moss and then who's the other one I just said I literally just said another oh it was Jason Verrett Jason Verrett gotta get in there I mean he's an absolute stud so we're missing the D-line now. Let's go with left end. I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to go straight. We're going to go right to the team builders first before we check out anything. All right, that's not team builder, but this card's... Oh, eh. Not really... Eh, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Finesse move 84. That's not bad at all, actually. It's not bad at all. Um, Max Crosby. Any of these guys really good stats? Not really. Kind of shocking here. No crazy stats. For this D-line, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to go with Chase Young with that 80 speed, 83 excel, 80 strength, 83 tackling, 83 block shed, and he's got that 83 finesse move. I really like this Chase Young card. I've been using him. Um, as you guys can see, none of these left ends, really any, no one's really crazy good. I'll go with Chase Young. Um, who is it? Uh, this guy right here, Brandon Graham. I don't know why I said this guy. Brandon Graham's a god. But Brandon Graham, uh, pretty good stats, I would say, right behind Chase Young. Only one better power or finesse move than Chase Young. So, 
I don't know. I'm still going to go with Chase Young. His speed's a lot better, and his tackling's also better, too. Like the Chase Young car, we're going to go with him. Uh, for D tackle here, D tackle. I don't like this position at all. I don't, don't think there is any bunch of beasts for D tackle. I was trying to find a D tackle yesterday, and none of them are really that good. So we're not going to talk about a bunch of beasts because honestly, there really is no bunch of beasts for D tackle um, at all. This Trey Hendrickson card's very, very good. 85 power move. 86 play rag, 81 block shot, 82 excel, 80, 77 speed. Pretty solid Trey Hendrickson card right there. Um, the rest of these, uh, Montez Sweat is pretty good. 80 speed, 83 excel. Definitely would go with uh, one or the other for that right end. And last but not least, our free safety position. Uh, free safety position. Also another position where, you know, no really crazy budget beast. But one dude in mind is definitely Jeremy Chin. I mean, his zone is really not that good, but he is 6'3". He does have 84 speed and 85 excel. He does have good tackling. Um, yeah, I mean, Jeremy Chin, I would probably go with him. But Micah Hyde may be right behind him. That excel kills him, though, if I'm being completely honest. But um, yeah, who, who's better than those dudes? I mean, no one's really got crazy stats here. And yeah, that's why I would probably go with Jeremy Chin. Anybody else want to bake a bid? They're too expensive. And guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, man, smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. Turn that noti bell and join the noti gang. Thank you, boys, for watching this vid. Um, that's pretty much it, boys. Peace.